in that lecture we have discussed about the domain and range and we are discussed uh, the restrictions on different kind of algebraic expression uh, so uh, restrictions to find the domain and range of different uh, algebraic expression and in this lecture we are going to start uh, we, we we just uh, solve some uh, so solve some function and we are find some natural domain uh, of some given function let's suppose we have we have uh, expression f of x is equals to x cube so in this example uh, we we have uh, we have to find the natural domain find natural domain so um, in last lecture uh, we are i am already um, explained what is domain domain means the set of uh, all allowable inputs values input values uh, so our input values should be from a uh, set of real numbers and uh, and uh, allowable means uh, allowable means uh, i need to input uh, all that values from set of real number uh, with which my function remains refined so i have to choose uh, i i have to choose the, uh, all the values from set of real number that um, that make uh, my function defined so uh, uh, we know that very well about uh, what is set of real number set of real number is uh, 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and plus minus 3 up to so on this is a set of real number so we know we say that we have a function f of x is equal to x cube so uh, there are no such a value exists in set of real number that makes this function is undefined because for every input value there is a defined input output so if we put one so our output is also one if we put two our output is eight if we put th three our output is 27 so for every input value from set of real number we have a defined output so there is no not a number exist in this set of real number that makes our expression is undefined or makes it complex so that's why we say that if of this uh, the, uh, the f of x of is equal to uh, x cube have a natural domain is set all set of real number so domain of f of x uh, is all set of real numbers and uh, we also write like that domain of f uh, is uh, is from minus infinite to positive infinite so that this, this is example and uh, we are finding the natural domain and uh, if uh, we have another example uh, like f of x is equals to 1 over x minus 1 and x minus 3 <coughs> sorry uh, so in this uh, in this example we see that uh, we see that uh, is, is, is include a, uh, a term which is, uh, is uh, in the form of uh, dividing or denominator in a nominator so uh, for, so uh, we uh, we have we know very uh, well about whenever uh, the denominator term is becomes zero the denominator term becomes zero so our uh, our expression is be a undefined or is equal to infinite we also say this undefined undefined so here in last lecture we already discussed we have to care about the our our denominator term is not be not becomes uh, as a zero so we are not allow the that input that makes our uh, denominator is zero if we if we if we uh, if ha we have to find uh, that those number from set of real numbers that makes it this expression is uh, undefined or infinite or our denominator becomes to zero we have to find that number so for these number uh, here is a factor x minus one and x minus two we just uh, do some rough work 
we have x minus 1 is equals to 0 so uh, here uh, we can find the value of x here is x is minus 1 and on the other side it uh, will be a uh, plus 1 and uh, and the other x, the other factor is x minus 3 is equal to 0 and we find x is equal to 3 so from for 1 and 3 1 and 3 this function becomes undefined so we say that our input value or we can put all the values from set of real number except 1 and 3 so our domain of this function our domain should be domain of f of x uh, we can write uh, in in such a way uh, minus infinite to 1 union of uh, 1 to 3 union 3 to positive infinite uh, here that is that is open interval it means uh, the the last value is not included it means 1 is not included but uh, the very previous value from 1 is included it means 1 is not included but from 1 to very next number 1.1 is included uh, that is a open interval uh, here I just mentioned open interval and close interval open interval open interval means if we write uh, if we have a real line that is 0 that is 1 that is 2 that is 3 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 if we take values from 1 to 3 and we say that 1 and 3 not be included but all the internal values are included then we uh, write it into open interval and open interval is simply we write like that 1 and 3 and here is also we study uh, closed interval so in closed interval similarly similar a way if we we say that uh, all the values from 1 to 3 included and 1 and 3 are also included then it it uh, will be right in closed interval uh, it should be right like that 1 and 3 it means that is a closed interval we write it in square brackets and it means 1 and 3 are also included that is a close closed interval so here we say that uh, uh, minus infinite we don't know what is the value of uh, minus infinite so it's not be included but it, it very previous value will be included and here we already find x is equal to uh, 1 x is equal to 1 for 1 it becomes 0 and 1 over 0 is infinite so that's why 1 is not included but very previous value is included uh, similarly union we uh, we break actually we break our domain into some some sub intervals uh, 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 let's suppose we have we have a real line we have a real line Uh, so dear students uh, here we have a real line for for to, to more explain uh, to find the domain of this function I draw a real line and uh, we know that uh, we know very well about uh, we are find here for 1 and 3 our function becomes undefined so we don't take the value 1 and 3 from set of real number uh, so our domain of this function is all set of real num real number real number except 1 and 3 so our domain is all set of real number it means all the line of set, set of real number except 1 and 3 so we if this expression this expression means 1 and 3 is not included but 
between 1 and 3 all the values included and after 3 all the values included up to positive infinite all the values from 3 to positive infinity, uh, positive infinity are included and also from uh, the 1 to minus infinite all the values are included but 1 is not included because for 1 is our function becomes undefined so that is a way to find uh, the domain the natural domain of a given function so dear student, students we have uh, another example we have another example uh, like uh, uh, we have example uh,